This is our K from the Toy Tomb. What we got here is an HO scale trolley. Now, Willie sent me this, thinking maybe I could do something with it. And what he sent me was the Village Street Car Company, which is very cool. The detail on this is amazing. It lights up when it runs, and you can see the silhouettes of the commuters in there. And it's got these, these bumpers on here. So when it hits a bumper, it'll back up and go the opposite direction. Now, unfortunately, the only track he had was this short track here and it's not quite long enough to go back and forth they were just you know also the bumpers here are too low they don't hit the bumpers so he said well maybe you could 3d print something out and make this thing a more working model so that's what i'm going to set out to do the first thing i'm going to do is i separated the three pieces and i'm going to use this middle piece of this raised track. So I happened to be at the um, New England Model Train Expo and I picked up about two feet of track and I decided I'm going to use it with this because this has got the terminals so that I can power the tracks to power the trolley car. But I'm going to have to measure this track bed carefully and make it so that it can fit easily. I don't know if I'll go to the trouble of, of uh, making this hook here, but certainly, you know, the tab and the slot on the other side over here so that I can maybe make something that will make a much longer track bed for this trolley car to go back and forth. Here are the pieces of track that I bought. And again, they're not on a bed. They're just, they're just the, the snap track. I came out with a sort of a pretty decent uh, representation, I guess, of the bed, which does fit. They do fit. So my measuring was correct. And I made four pieces because I have to make it long enough uh, for these pieces of track. The other issue, of course, was what was I going to do about this? I could use these pieces and add something, but I wanted something a little bit more stylized. So what I wound up doing was I made sort of a, a bumper here and kind of made it look like, I don't know, Art Deco Railroad. I, I have no idea. I know I've seen these things, but I don't know really know what I look like. I just, what they look like. I just sort of kind of made this up in my head and did it in CAD and printed it out. And I measured it so that the bumper on the train would hit exactly right there. Right there in the middle will hit this bumper here. So it'll come down the end, bump, go back and forth. I will show this in more detail after I put all of this together. Right now it's all in pieces and I'm not even sure how this is all going to work yet. Well, here's one problem solved. I did line the bumpers up. It's not exactly as I had hoped. It's not hitting exactly in the middle, but it does hit it. And that's all I need. And then it'll back up. So nothing is attached. Nothing is put together. I'm just trying the pieces out. But it does all work. It does all fit. Finally, after priming and painting the 3D pieces, the final track is three feet long. The track has been attached and the bumpers at the end have been, I thought it'd be nice to paint them, paint them red. Now you'll see on this end right there and right there, I added a screw. And that was simply because where this was gonna be going back and forth, the trolley was going to be knocking those bumpers and it could probably spread the pieces apart and it would end up derailing. So I thought if I screwed the track down, it would hold it together better. I could use a transformer, but instead what I've decided to do is I took these two wires and I attached them to those two clamps. And Again, this is just a test. I will unravel this and set it up. But all I'm simply doing 
is I've got a nine volt energizer and that should be enough to power the train. The reason I'm not using a transformer is, is that I don't have to speed it up or slow it down or control it. It just needs to be turned on and off. So as you could see, every time it hit the bumper, the whole track would slide one way or the other when it hit. So what I'll do is I'll add some rubber feet or wedge something on each end wherever I put this so it stays in one place. Um, again, Willie gave me the car that he fixed up and got it running. Uh, he gave me this piece of track here that had the, the leads coming from it so I could power it. And then he gave me these two end pieces where the bumpers, he told me the bumpers wouldn't be high enough. So I 3D printed out the bed, bought two feet of track, made the bumpers at the end and printed them out and just kind of cobbled the whole thing together. And I'm using a nine volt battery and a wire that I found in the basement. And it works. Thanks for watching. Remember, you can tell it's Mattel. It's well. Okay, let him go. Some of the great SSP racers for 72. M A R X spelled Mark, world's largest toy maker. Remember, every boy wants a Remco toy, and so do girls. And remember, if it isn't Duncan, it isn't Yo-Yo.